Yo, 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 yo. It's Hero Zone. Welcome back to the channel. And now, right now, y'all, this is gonna be a, a rant video. That's right. I'm gonna do a rant video on this Mark Kart 9 hating people. I guess they don't want to know, but let's get into this even more on all of this topic. Now, first and foremost, I just want to tell everyone that for those who did not watch my Nintendo E3 prediction video, I want people to take a look at that and go to our Mario Kart um, during the timeline. Because what we have to already discuss about this video, that we all know that we want to see another Mario Kart. Because I think it's already past its prime. And everyone might have to see a different opinion on it but in our opinions we think it's time for us to see it but but my right now this is a rant video based on mario kart now for those who for the people that want to you know don't want to see another mario kart because it's still selling argument that needs okay i'm gonna say it right now that still selling argument doesn't make no sense whatever i'm gonna, I'm gonna shut all that down today that's why I'm making this video to let you guys know what's going on because just because a game is still selling doesn't make it okay for it to not to make another game or it's too early to do that because right now it doesn't make no sense the more I hear it and people arguments saying oh it's still selling really well why do we need we don't need another Mario Kart game we, we, we have to hold off let's wait and hold off for another Nintendo console for that but this is the here's the point I'm trying to make here does I could have said the same thing with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but you know, people hammer me, hammer me down for it, you know. But you know, things like that really irritates me when people being so defensive or they're too scared to foresee another Mario Kart because I think that's their first Mario Kart game or it's the only Mario Kart game on they have on the Switch or they never experienced Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. And I don't want to bring back the Wii U because we all know what happened to the Wii U because the Wii U did not sell very, very well according to sales. And but I think the sales didn't matter. Well, the sales didn't matter. I think it's the marketing, in my opinion. But what I'm trying to say is, Marker Eight has been out for seven years. And when I try to look up Marker Eight Deluxe, I think it said 2017. I think that's the I think that's the year when the Switch came out. That was released for that year I think I could be wrong but but what I'm trying to make up is that it's still it's still a set it's still an old game and people are still defending that it's still selling argument well, let, me, I'm, let me get this straight the game come out the game came out for like you know seven years during the Wii U days and just because it's a switch game just, just because it's imported to the switch People want to defend that and say it's too early. Like I said before, I like I said before, in my opinion, the game been out for eight, the game been out for seven years. Nobody wants to see a new game yet because it been out for, you know, four years, about four years now for the Switch. But the, like I trying to tell people this, it makes no sense why right here. Like people argument for this is it's ridiculous. It, it's the, I think it's time to move on from Mark from Mark or Eight Deluxe. Because it's the exact same game since 2014. <laughs> yes, I, I I did my I did my research on this. I tried I I searched I searched up Google for this man. It makes no sense. You, the game been out since 2014. Why? And y'all say no, we don't need a game. It's been seven years. And y'all, the marker eight deluxe ain't. Is, I know marker eight deluxe and marker eight on the Wii U is different. It's a little different. The only difference is it's portable on the Switch. You can take it anywhere you want to. And it has battle mode. A new and improved battle mode. Some new items. Free tracks. That's about it. And people are still defending it. I, I, like I said before, it basically makes no sense. People, I don't y'all. What, what I'm trying to say is it makes no sense that you guys still think it's still selling point. It's still selling. There's no need for another marker on the Switch. That, and that's, that's what I want to get you guys at. The Marker 8 Deluxe is not a Switch exclusive game. That, that, that's what I'm trying to say. It is a Switch game, but it's not a Switch exclusive game. That's like calling... Now, I have an example, but I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you what the example is right now. You see? 
It's like calling this a PS4 game. But it's not really a PS4 exclusive game. You see what I'm trying to say? This, this game right here, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.2, 1.5, 2.5 Remix, this was also on the PS3. But, y'all bring, we bring this to PS4, y'all call, y'all instantly call a PS4 exclusive game. And it's made for the PS4. But I've given this an example, it's not a PS4 game, it's a third party game. But you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Y'all, I don't, y'all, what I'm trying to say is, I don't know why I want. I don't. I don't hate this. I don't hate this game. I do not hate this game. This game I'm playing right now in the background is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I spent over 55 hours of this, and y'all still, and y'all still don't get. I don't get y'all. I don't think I get it. I don't hate the game. I don't hate the game. So what I'm trying to say, y'all, is that Mario Kart 8 is still a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I spent over 55 hours of the game. It's nothing, nothing wrong with it. I still play it right now. I will still play it right now, but it's not the same as I was playing on the Wii U. I spent over 55 hours because it was brand new. It was, it was very brand new game. And here's the thing, I don't get y'all. It's, it's been seven years, man. It's been three years. According to the um, according to 2017. Okay, my bad. Four years. That since, since the game, because May already passed. May, yeah, May for that game already passed, because it's split it on Switch. Mark Ray 8 Deluxe been out since somewhere May, May 20 something, whatever, May 20 something, in 17. So, I'm trying to tell you guys that it's time for a new Mark Ray 9. There's no reason to call it a still selling point game, because what I'm trying to tell you, since me and my, my friend Yoshin96, when we had did the e tradition video, we were discussing that a game like Mario Kart 9 is fine, but we still don't get everyone's thing for it's still selling argument. If, I know if it's still selling, don't don't change it, but the thing is, is it was already a thing in on the Wii U era. Some people played it on the Wii U era, and that doesn't take away the fun factor on the Switch era, if y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's still a playable game on the Switch. But what our, what our artist thing is, we thinking that there might be a new Mario Kart 9, coming out for the Switch Pro, and the Pro will take advantage of its capabilities and make it be a better for it. And I heard other games, rumor game, well, I heard other rumor games that were coming out for the Switch Pro, and that, if the Switch Pro rumors are really true. So, here, here's my here's the thing, I'm trying to make a point to y'all. Switch, the Nintendo Switch has been selling a lot, and we got, it's possibly more, 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 the thing is, there's a possibility that Mario Kart 9 is going to have the same treatment as well. Mario Kart 8 has been going on for a good 7 years. That does not stop Nintendo from creating other games. Splatoon, Splatoon 2 has been going on for a long time. That has stopped them from making Splatoon 3. Breath of the Wild has been out since 17. That has stopped them from making Breath of the Wild 2. Mario also been out the same time, I think 2018. Yeah, around 2018, they did not stop them from probably, I not, at least I don't know, perhaps make another Mario Odyssey 2, but, or another Mario Odyssey game, because I mean, y'all know there's always a Mario game coming out every four years, according to research. And what I'm trying to say is, there are games that are still being sold right now for the Switch, and it's not stopping other developers to create a new one. Why, why hold back Mario Kart 8? Mario Kart 9 needs a dang game, man. It's only it's been four years. It that's that's kind of long. That like y'all, I my best game was I ever played was Mario Kart Wii. That did not stop them from making Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe from not, not 8 Deluxe Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U from coming out. So ever since Mario Kart 8 had been coming out for the, you know for a new console like the Wii U, everyone stopped playing the Wii until the Wii. So the Wii system shut down. No one can play no, Mario Kart Wii online no more, and that was it. We all, we all move over to the Wii U to play Mario Kart 8 on it and have fun on it. So there you go. I, yo, there's no reason for everyone to get mad or too scared to, for a new change for new Mario Kart. It's been like that for years. Mario Kart is always a fun gaming stuff that everyone can enjoy. But I know, I like I said, 
I hate it when people use the it's still selling term. I don't understand as a, I don't I, I don't even think that right now. I still don't understand. I don't know what you guys get that from. Like, just because it's still selling doesn't mean it doesn't stop them from creating the next four years to make another game. It might be five. It, it just can't. It, it just this continue. So, watch out, y'all. There's no need for me to go on any further with this rant. I, I'm just trying to make a point that we're everyone, we all stay on the same page. Be, hopefully, Nintendo will get this as a like a welcome and say, hey, we time for the new Mario Kart game. And no, I'm not counting Mario Kart Live Circuit, whatever that thing called. I don't, I never heard, I don't, I'm not doing that. Or Mario Kart thing for the phones. Um, Mario Kart Tour, War Tour, or something like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not into that at all. Like, I don't even play phone games like that. And some people do. I like that's not my thing either. But if you're the type of guys that want me to say, hey, you should please don't don't mess with Mario Kart 8. But the night was said before, the game been out for seven years. But the luck is been four. Yo, we don't we don't we don't need to prolong the, the next game. And, and it ma it makes no sense. The reason and y'all, the main reason why they sell Mario Kart 8 the luck for as a port to the, to the switch it's because the wii u was a was a flop i hate to say that it wasn't and the marketing was bad that no one everyone thought the wii u was a wii add-on and that was it like no one didn't care about the wii u as much as the switch is for doing it. and the switch was a big sell point and everyone thought hey i want to play the new mario kart on that but you know and, and that's what they did they went with mario kart 8 and sent it there it was like come on man we need, we need, we need new Mario Kart 9. I don't know why people are afraid of change, but I hope people can wake up and think that, hey, this is not hard to understand. Just because it's still selling doesn't mean it should stop with the sequels. That makes no sense. Splatoon, I know, I know a couple of people I know that just recently bought Splatoon 2 and Mario Odyssey. And Splatoon 2, Splatoon 2 got a sequel. Splatoon 3, which we know about, is going to be happening. Like, that's not stopping them to make a Splatoon 3. Come on now. What's wrong? Like, I don't understand. So, I've been on the rant, and guys. Thanks for watching. 